Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello dear student of the second prep grade and welcome to a new session of our program Math for Free. Today we will study lesson 5 from unit 4 and areas of some geometric figures. Pay attention with me and let's start. We start our lesson today with a rhombus. The rhombus is a parallelogram whose sides are equal in length. The rhombus is a parallelogram whose sides are equal in length. And two diagonals of the rhombus are perpendicular and bisect each other. But we want to know how to find the area. To find the area of a rhombus, we have two ways. The first one, the area of the rhombus, knowing the length of its side and its height. As we know, the rhombus is a parallelogram, and the area of parallelogram equal side length time corresponding high. So the area of the rhombus, like the parallelogram, equal side length time corresponding high so this is the first rule to find the area of rhombus so the area of rhombus equal length time high or side length time corresponding high for example a rhombus whose side length is 5 and its high is 3 so the area equal 5 times 3 equal 15 centimeter square for example a rhombus whose perimeter is 20 and its height is 4 find its area as we know the area equal side length time high we have high and we don't have the side length but the perimeter of a rhombus like the perimeter of square because all sides in rhombus are equal in length so the perimeter of rhombus equals side length times 4. So what is the number if we multiply by 4 we get 20 is 5. So the side length is 5. Now we can find the area. We will say side length times high. It's 5 times 4 equals 20. Second example. A rhombus whose perimeter is 24. And its area is 30 find its high now we have the area and we need to get the high okay so we should be get the side length then divide area by side length to find the high we have here the perimeter the perimeter equals side length times 4 okay so 24 its meaning number multiply 4 so the side length equal 24 divide 4 equal 6 now we can find the high by dividing the area by side length so 30 divide 6 equal 5 the second rule to find the area of rhombus the area of the rhombus knowing the length of its two diagonal the area of rhombus by the diagonal equal half time the product of its two diagonal. The square is a rhombus with two equal diagonals in length. The area of square equal half time square its diagonal because the diagonals of square are equal. So the area of square equal half time diagonal time diagonal. But the area of rhombus equal half time diagonal 1 time diagonal 2. Uh, for example, a rhombus whose diagonal lengths are 8 and 6 find its area. Okay, first we will write the rule. After this, we find the area. The area equal half time diagonal time diagonal. So half time 8 times 6 equals 24 centimeter square 
Example number two, a square whose diagonal length is eight, find its area. The area of square equal half time diagonal time diagonal. So equal half time eight time eight equal 32 centimeter square. The area of rhombus is 24 and the length of one of its diagonal four find the length of the other diagonal. In this example, we have two ways to find the length of the second diagonal. Okay, let's see the first one. The area of rhombus equal half time diagonal time diagonal. Okay, so the area equal 24 equal half time diagonal 4 time the second diagonal or missing diagonal. So the length of diagonal equal 24 time 2 over 4. How we can do it? By moving half to another side and reciprocal to be 2. So 2 times 24 divide 4. Or we can find by another way by get the half or 4. It's 2. So 24 divide 2 equal 12. So we have two ways to find the missing length of diagonal of the rhombus. Uh, the second figures of our lesson today is the trapezium. The trapezium is a quadrilateral which two sides are parallel. This side is parallel to this side and we called the small side is the small base and the greatest one is a greater base. Okay? The two parallel sides are called the bases and the other two sides are called the legs. So this is bases and that's legs, okay? And this is the high of the trapezium. The trapezium has only one high, which is perpendicular distance between two bases. The isosceles trapezium. If the two legs of the trapezium are equal in length, then it's called an isosceles trapezium. So if we have trapezium like this, but its two legs are equal in length. In this case, we call it isosceles trapezium. The two bases angle of the isosceles trapezium are equal in length. Okay, when we can say the two bases angle are equal in length, if the two legs are equal in length. So if we have isosceles trapezium, then the two angle bases are equal in length and also the two diagonal are equal in length. The isosceles trapezium has only one ax of symmetry perpendicular to bases and bisector it. So the trapezium as we saw have one only ax of symmetry it's distribute the figure to two equal part or two congruent figures. The axis of symmetry of the isosceles trapezium passes through the point of intersection of its two diagonal. The right trapezium. The right trapezium, as we saw, has right angle and this leg is called high, not called leg. A right trapezium is a trapezium whose one of its legs is perpendicular to its parallel paces. In this case, the length of perpendicular leg is the high of the trapezium. The middle base of the trapezium. It's a line segment joining the two bend points of the two legs of the trapezium. Okay, so this line joining the two legs. The middle base of trapezium is parallel to each of its two parallel paces. So the middle base, it's parallel to each one from its paces, the area of trapezium. We have two ways. The first way, the area of trapezium knowing the length of its two parallel bases and its high. We have two bases and high. So to find the area of trapezium, we will find the sum of two bases and they get its half and multiply by high. So 
the area of trapezium equal half of the sum of lenses of two parallel bases time high or we can say the sum of two bases time half time high the second rule to find the area of trapezium the area of trapezium knowing the length of the middle base the length of the middle base equal half the sum of two lenses of two parallel bases so the area of trapezium equal length of middle base time high but when we have the middle base we move the sum of two bases and half and just write middle base time high let's answer some questions a trapezium in which the lenses of two parallel bases are seven and nine and it's a high five find its area so we have two bases and high so i will say half time seven plus nine time five okay so the result is 40. a trapezium in which length of its middle base eight and the high 12 we have middle base so we just say middle base time high it's meaning 8 times 12 equal 96. trapezium whose area is 126 the length of middle base 21 find it's a high just to do area divide middle base so 121 126 divide 21 equal 6 centimeters a trapezium whose area is 63 centimeters square and the length of one of its parallel bases is 8 and it's a high 9 find the length of its other base okay first write the rule and change the letter by the numbers the area equals 63 and a half time 8 first base plus second base Time 9, 9 it's a high, okay? And do the steps, multiply 9 by the brackets and move half to the second part to be 63 times 2, okay? After this, 63 times 2 divide 9 equal length plus 8. So 63 times 2 over 9 equal 14. So 8 plus length equal 14, so the length equal 6. We have here the rules of all figures we was studied, the perimeter and area. Please read all of these rules and try to save it. And at the end of our lesson today, this is some examples to try to solve it in your homework. And if you found any problem, please tell me. And have a good day. And see you in another day with another lesson from our program Math for Free. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.